Hi everyone, Greeno here. And welcome to another episode here on Greeno Eats. Now today I've come a little bit further afield. I'm not in Dorset today. I am in Winchester. You might just about be able to pick up in the background. The bells of the cathedral are ringing. It's a Sunday morning. I've dropped my missus off and little one at Luton Airport bright and early this morning. On the way back, feeling a bit peckish. Time to get some breakfast. I've got one from the Too Good To Go app. We head into the Mercure Hotel. See what they got left over after their buffet breakfast. Let's go take a look. As you can see here, the cathedral in Winchester is absolutely spectacular. It's a really great place to come and spend a couple of days if you get the chance. I was here about a year ago, spent a couple of nights. Fabulous time with my other half. So much history around. Obviously it's uh, the home of all the old Saxon kings. Statue of King Alfred at the entrance to the town there. Yeah, what a great place. Definitely recommended. So they're just getting the bag ready for me now. It wasn't quite ready when I came to collect it, but it will only be a couple of minutes. So it's going to wait around here in the lobby area and they'll bring it out. Now I was going to hopefully sit out in the cathedral green there and eat the breakfast, but even though it's sunny now, it has been absolutely hammering down overnight. So everything is soaking wet. So I'm going to have to go and find somewhere dry to eat it. Maybe back at the car, we'll see. folks we have the bag not particularly heavy but let's have a little look what we got inside so first up a croissant it's actually quite nice and warm still so that's pretty good <laughs> we have a banana which has seen better days but it's probably still good to eat right now and also need to readjust a little bit we have got in here a box so what's in this box? Let's take a look. Get it opened up. Quite well sealed. Okay, we have hot food in here. I don't know if you can see it very well. I don't want to tip it all out really, that's the problem. But there's a cooked breakfast in there. So what have we got? We've got a couple of bits of bacon. There's a sausage in there. There's some mushrooms. I hate mushrooms. <laughs> so they won't be getting eaten. We've got a fried egg, a bit of tomato, and there's some beans in there. So let me pop this down and we'll give you a closer look. Okay, apologies for the shadows. I've had a kind of shelter here underneath a bit of a tree, eating the breakfast off my car bonnet. It's about the only thing dry enough around here. So, they didn't give me any cutlery. Fortunately, I had a teaspoon in my rucksack, so I'm going to be using that for the beans and what have you, but everything else, we're going to have to go with our fingers. Now, in the bag as well, they did give me some salt and pepper, a sachet of brown sauce, and strangely, a sachet of mayonnaise. Not quite sure who has mayonnaise on a cooked breakfast, but there we are. So I'll put a little bit of salt and pepper on there, I think. Okay, that's all done. Now, before I get into this, I ought to tell you the price. This cost me £3.59, so 
was a little bit more expensive than the one that I did for the Toby Carvey video, which I think you can probably see linked above here right now. Um, it looks pretty similar in terms of the contents, except I've got that lovely fresh croissant and that slightly ropey looking banana. <laughs> but let's give it a go. Let's get the bacon out first. So back bacon there, quite well cooked. It's a bit cold now, but tasty, nice thick slice of bacon. Quite salty like you'd expect. Hmm. That is quite enjoyable actually. It's the sort of bacon that would be very nice in like a BLT sandwich. I'm getting dripped on a little bit here from this tree when the wind blows. <laughs> so I might get some uh, rain water in my breakfast as well. We've got a hash brown here in amongst it all. In fact there's two hash browns. There's another one I've just seen hiding underneath. So give that a try. Kind of crispy on the outside. You can tell it's been cooked a while ago mine. Not that kind of light and fluffy on the inside. You can see from the colour it's quite sort of pale and insipid looking, so I think it's something that could have done with a minute or two longer in the fryer perhaps. Uh, the egg, now the yolk is very hard on this, so that's obviously been sat on a hot plate underneath some lights for a while. But we'll give the white a go. Mm -hmm. Nice enough. Nice bit of seasoning on there, that always helps. The beans, they look like good quality beans. I'm getting a bit cold now, but tasty. They're not all mushy like they've been cooked too long or anything, so yeah, they're really nice actually. As it happens, I don't mind cold beans, so <laughs> I grew up in the 70s as a kid. We'd regularly have cold beans on a salad back then, so <laughs> the height of British cuisine at the time. Let's give this tomato a go now. This is, has it been skinned? No, it hasn't been skinned, so just a normal fresh tomato there, been warmed up. Mm. Cooked through really nicely. Sometimes they're just warm, aren't they? Not actually cooked, but this has been, mm, been handled really nicely. I'm going to say the mushrooms are going to get left, unfortunately, because I cannot abide mushrooms. I like mushroom soup. I don't mind the flavour of mushrooms, but the texture of them, no thank you. So what else have we got left in this hot thing? Just the sausage. So just one of these sausages in here today. I noticed there were a few other people collecting magic bags when I was there, so maybe sausages were a bit thin on the ground and they had to share them about, but we'll give it a go. Look there. A fairly standard hotel kind of breakfast sausage. Just a normal pork sausage, no herbs or seasoning or anything particularly in there, as you can see. But yeah, it's not bad. The banana, I think I'm going to leave for now. It doesn't really go with what I'm eating. Maybe I'll have it afterwards. But let's give this croissant a go then. See this? Really nice coloured croissant. I say still a little bit warm. Mm. Oh yeah, that's nice. Nice and buttery. See there? Yum, yum, yum. Oh, that's a real treat. Right, I'm going to polish this off. I'll come back to you at the end. So I've polished off all I'm going to. It wasn't bad. If I'm honest, overall, I'm kind of detecting a theme now. I've had two, two good to go kind of breakfasts. Um, obviously, they're both from breakfast buffets, and they're the stuff that's left at the end of it. So it's stuff that's likely to have been sat out under those heat lamps for a little while. So it does affect the quality of the food a little bit. The egg here, for example, was the yolk was just solid. Uh, the white was still okay, but it was you know all just getting a bit rubbery. The bacon absolutely delicious really good quality but a little bit dry again again i think it just been under that heat lamp a bit too long for me i think this was a decent breakfast obviously not very fond of the mushrooms i think the hash browns could have been cooked a little bit longer uh, the tomato was good the beans were good 
and it was a nice little touch having the, the little sachets of sauces and of salt and pepper uh, obviously nothing to eat it with though so <laughs> good job I had that little teaspoon with me that I uh, procured somewhere along the line today <laughs> I'm not going to tell you from where in case they come looking for me uh, but yeah overall I would say that's about a 7 out of 10 I think for £3.59 hotel breakfast would probably cost you about 12 quid I guess um, although of course then you've got the pick of what you want and you can get coffee and juice and all that sort of thing which of course you don't get with this but certainly enough to fill a hole certainly decent enough that I'm not disappointed but again yeah, mind not blown by it right then folks so that's it from Winchester for me for today uh, one little tip I will give you if you ever want to come to Winchester make sure you get here early I pitched up about half past nine this morning on a Sunday morning and all the car parks were absolutely rammed I managed to find a space eventually but the whole town just seems to be people crawling around from car park to car park looking for a spot so yeah get here early that's my advice um, but yeah overall not too disappointed not blown away by the breakfast but another decent bag let's put it that way we've saved some food from going to waste I've had a breakfast that I'm reasonably happy with everyone's a winner well, if you enjoyed today's video and this little look at Winchester, don't forget you can click that little thumbs up button. It really does help with the channel. And if you're new around here, or even if you're not new around here and you haven't subscribed yet, <laughs> why not consider subscribing? And you can ding your little bell for notifications and you won't miss any of the content that's coming up on the channel. Right, that's it from me for today. I'm going to have a little mooch around Winchester while the sun is shining before the rain comes back. I will catch you on the next one. Bye for now.